Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So I'm going to re-attempt last week's introduction. Uh, I walked over here and I said, the sheep are laying their eggs. Nope, let's correct that. The chickens are laying the eggs. The sheep we don't have, but eventually they're going to be producing wool for us. Um, yes, I had a lot on my mind that day. Anyway, um, we are going to be sorting out the grass in the yard here and the straw. But also, we're going to be keeping hold of the combine harvester for today because we do need to do a job for somebody else, but I don't want to do that immediately. I prefer to do that later. Uh, I want to get this straw sorted out and the grass. And uh, actually, the price should be quite good for straw. So we should be able to keep some and then sell some. They're going to be conventional bales, so easy to pick up by hand. Just pop this here for now. Now, the baler is £8,000. The trailer is about £5,500. So we definitely can't afford to buy them outright, but we can rent them. So first things first, this one here. £408. And then if we go into... I think it's probably bell loaders. Yes, we have this trailer. Now I was going to change the colour when we actually buy it, but today, as we're just going to be renting it, uh, we'll keep it as standard, because it does cost more to have a different colour. So that should be fine. £255 for that. And I understand it will automatically pick up the conventional bells. And it can carry over 100 So this should be quite effective. Should be a good day today. If only I hadn't lost my tractor. Here it is. Right, so we can drop off the trailer. Hopefully in the shed. Uh, but the bells that we're going to keep will be going to the shed as well. For when we do get some animals. Chickens don't require the straw. It'd be quite fun though, actually, if you did have to give the chicken straw and then you uh, got a small amount of manure, chicken manure. Actually, yeah, that would be quite something if you had different types of manure, if you actually did call it cow manure and chicken manure. Maybe they'd have different values if you were selling. Uh, maybe, I think gardeners, gardeners would possibly buy chicken manure, possibly. Not 100% sure on that. But yeah, you could sell the manure in smaller quantities in uh, handy packs. There we go. Right, so let's get over to that store that's going to pick up the machinery. It's quite a busy road, this. Wildlife on the road. Here they are. Right, actually, yeah, that reminds me, I did do a... And I didn't do a vote, did I? I just asked everybody if they wanted me to do uh, the same situation as on Survivor Challenge, where the shop owns a forklift. And nearly everybody said, yeah, the, the shop should own a forklift. So we're going to get one here. Or maybe a front-loaded tractor. Just something. It hasn't arrived yet. I need to find it, because it needs to be vintage. Um, but yes, once we do have it... Oh, no! Yeah, once we do have it, we can also move these bags. Now I might have done something wrong here. Or maybe you don't tow it. Or maybe... Maybe that's it. There we go. <laughs> I think I did something wrong. Good. So we have the baler, we have the trailer, and we have the loose product on the fields. I think we'll start with the straw and then at the end we can drive around the yard picking up the grass. I'm not going to rent a windrower just for that small amount of grass. We'll just have to just keep doing laps of the yard. We'll take the third entrance again. Here we go. So let's figure out exactly how to use this. It must be quite straightforward. Unfold the baler. I probably would be better off going up this way, actually. As for the trailer, do I have to do anything? Operating position? I think that's everything. So hopefully, uh, once that first bale pops out, it will be automatically put onto the trailer and locked into place. And because these are conventional bales, they're going to be produced quite quickly. Could I have gone for a different size? No, I think they're a single size, standard size. There we go. Oh, what a good system. 
So yeah, I'm going to hopefully be buying this in the future. It's a bit out of our reach today. But for next year's harvest, it shouldn't be. And this would be chaos if I didn't have the trailer. If it was just dropping them all in the ground, picking them all up would take forever. Um, because it's doing it so neatly, it's just a good system. It should easily take all of this field. Although I'm not guaranteeing anything. Because it is a surprisingly large field. It's bigger than I first thought. There is something so fun about the small machinery. The small and vintage machinery. The big equipment's fun too, but they're fun in different ways. Right, so that is that top piece removed. Now I can just go up and down the field. Already 12 bells, maybe I should take back my comment about it easily fitting. Well, it's better if it doesn't all fit, because then that means we've got loads. We could possibly, once it actually gets full, we could possibly just strap them to the trailer and then by hand stack another layer. We'll have to see. Anyway, I'll get as much done as possible. The system seems to be working well. It's very satisfying to watch as well. One of the limitations of having a two-wheel drive tractor, and yes, in the base game, there's no diff lock. I'm not too sure if there's a mod for diff lock, but yeah, not super good. I'm driving forwards, but moving backwards. I think the sooner we can uh, get a four-wheel drive tractor, the better. If it saves money, then it can certainly be cabless. We don't need to have a cab yet. Looks like I'm going to be doing most of this downhill though, because it can't really climb the hill. No problem at all downhill, so it's not like it's having an issue running the baler. It is just traction. It would benefit from having more horsepower, but traction's what's really letting it down. Okay, we're on the third layer, and I'm coming off course. Oh no! Oh no, we can't reverse, not uphill. Nope. Okay, we'll just have to come back for that. Let's correct the course. If we do partial loads, then it's going to be lighter. This trailer fully loaded with 100 bales is going to be quite heavy. But I'll keep going, I'll see how we go. The longer we can go for, the better. The more impressive the payment is going to be. I'll just keep going until we get stuck. As soon as we get stuck, I'll drive around, if we can do. Switching the baler off doesn't help either, which proves its traction. We're coming to the end. It's been very difficult these last few pieces. It's very, very tricky to get back up the hill. So this might just have to do it. I'll try and get these pieces here. But yeah, I've been sliding everywhere. I think we're doing all right though. We have 97 bales. Oh, please, please, no. Yeah, okay. I did manage to get it in the end, but that's going to have to do. So, as I said, it would be good to keep some of these for future animals. 
There's our shed. That's the obvious place to store them. I just hope we can unload them without any problems. So, oh yeah, unload baler. Of course, we might have something in there. I think there was one. Now for the trailer. Unload bales. Nope, that's not what I was aiming to do. We can abort. I think that'd be a good idea. Yes, what we actually want to do is... Well, I was going to say unload to the bed, but actually... No, we will have to do this. Okay. We'll have to pick up the ones that we're going to sell again. So, I think... Here. Because we can't really access the front corners of the shed with the machinery. There are 400 litres of straw in each bale, which is actually more than I'd have expected. So I think if we can make a small stack here, a nice neat stack, that would be good. And it's setting us up for the future. We don't need these in a hurry, but I can't guarantee that we're not going to get animals before next harvest. That should do it. We have a good stack. Hopefully there won't be any kind of conflict with the wall. I don't think there will be. And um, we should now be able to pick these up again. Let me just figure out exactly how to do that. So press Y. And then I think operating position. Brilliant. And there we go. Looks like these need a bit of assistance. Onto the trailer. Perfect. Right, so now onto the grass. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this um, because the trailer already has a different crop type on it, but it might be able to stack two different crop types. I guess at the end of the day they are just called bales, so <laughs> there's nothing super different about them. So far, so good. Still set to loading. And there's not going to be many. Just need to tidy up as much as we can do. Yeah, I'm hopeful it's going to work. I think that first bell is about to appear on the trailer. Brilliant. Now I just need to hope that it's the same cell point. I think chances are it will be. Even if it isn't, as long as both are accepted at the same cell point, there won't be a problem. So, this is the time when I just drive around in a crazy fashion, picking up the grass. Not something you'd normally do, but I think if I don't pick up this grass, it's going to be here forever. That is most of the grass picked up. It's always going to be the odd bit because it hasn't been raked together. But, yeah, I think we've probably got enough of it. And as for what to do with it, I'm actually now starting to think, keep it. Because we can feed it to sheep. The sheep that we don't yet have, as mentioned. Also, the neighbouring farmers, in fact the neighbour across the road there, probably thinks I'm really odd because, well, I don't know if they watched the previous vlog, but we started talking about sheep laying eggs and now they'll be thinking what's he doing now he's bailing his yard yes they will probably be branding this as the funny farm but then everybody needs a joke every now and then there is actually a fair chunk in here I can't really get super close because we've got the drill 
but it's probably a bell, one bell's worth, maybe two. Right. Yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it. It's looking much better. The grass, I think, has regrown. We may put some fresh gravel down, but at the moment, it's going to have to stay as it is. We can't afford it. So, let's repeat what I just did. Let's remove the bales, take them off, and then we'll sell the straw bales that are remaining. Oh yeah, and it's super heavy, it's pushing me very easily. Oh no. Right, well, <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Let's put this into unload mode. There we go. Bit of a mess, but not to worry. It's going to pick them up, no problem. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put them all into here. It's getting a bit dark. Do we have lights? We do have a light. It's much better. Because I remember reading a comment about that, because they said it was really dark in here and I couldn't really see what I'm doing. And then they said, just turn the light on. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's quite easy to overthink things in this game. Me always trying to find a solution to something that we already have a solution to. Okay, almost there. We just have one more to pick up. And that's not bad, considering it's just from the yard. I know it would be extremely low quality feed. It's just a load of weeds. But in this game, grass is grass. So the sheep would really appreciate that. Okay, so let's get this mess sorted out. We need to get that picked up. So we'll uh, press Y and then press B. Some of these are probably going to be out of range. And we can find the best place to sell straw. I'm so pleased it's an auto-loading trailer. If I had to keep picking these up every single time I spilt them, then it would be a total nightmare. Right, so straw. Where is the best place? £88, that's not too bad. It can be better. But... South Valley Biomass Energy, which is over here. So that's not too far to go. In fact, it's a place that we've never been to. So this will be interesting. We don't need the baler. That's the baler returned, and it looks like one grass bale has slipped through the net, or two actually. But it doesn't matter. Those people behind me are going to really regret letting us out. We only have a top speed of 15, and that's when we have no load on. Really, I should pull over and let them pass, but it is just at the end of here. 76 bales. If the grass isn't accepted here, that's fine. We'll just take them home. So yeah, this is a place that I haven't been to before. Good maize field. It's like a nice little cafe or something. Another yard just there. Oh no, a hill. How am I going to get this up the hill? Well, luckily we did take some weight off. And we don't have the baler. But if I just set cruise control, I can sit back and relax. And see if it can make it. At least this time we do have rubber tyres contacting asphalt. So we should have some traction. If we're in the right gear. Come on. How's my queue getting on? Yep, we've got a good queue. But we are still going. We're slipping, but we're moving. Quite long. Yeah, we've acquired about six more cars. But we're here. We can watch all the traffic go past. Okay, so this must be our cell point. I probably do have to unload. Oh no, it did take one. Stop! Stop! Even getting wheel spin reversing. Please be in the trigger. Mostly. £2,804. Just slide these across. Right, so we're back up at 12000 Not too bad. Let's get back to the farm. And I'll see if there is one small field that we can harvest, just to get a bit of extra cash back in. 
Good, the traffic's cleared. Well, most of the crops seem to be sunflowers and corn. And root crops. Which obviously we cannot harvest with the combine. Corn, corn. All these are too big. These would take too long. Okay. 77? Where's field number 77? There's 76. Ah, just there. We shall accept that one. I reckon we can do that quite easily. So I'll just put this trailer back. We'll attach to the car trailer. And then we'll take the combine and the tractor over to that field. Park this over here near the chickens. Right, turn the light off too. And then once this is done, we can return the combine harvester. We should get a small bonus from harvesting the soybeans. This must be all the traffic that I blocked up, coming back in the opposite direction. Oh, don't stop. I was going to pull out. Oh, crikey. Don't you just love the traffic? Oh, no. I'm causing chaos on both sides. The red car let me out. Well, it had no choice. So, let's get to the field and begin. Hey, it's all that traffic again. They're sticking together. They must all be lost. Well, the first car must be going somewhere, and all the others are just following, like sheep. My field, which I'm going to be harvesting, is just down here. It's actually further than I thought. Yeah. It's not great pay because this combine is not big and even a field of that size is quite considerable for this machine okay let's begin if we don't fill up too quickly it will be much easier yeah we're not filling up super quickly but it is nice to work in a different field maybe this is one we could buy in the future Although it's a bit of a drive. When we do get to the stage of wanting to buy a new field, I'm not just going to rush into it, I am going to carefully consider all the options. We'll go for the correct one for us. Well, we are full again, and I think it's going to be frustrating. I think we're going to be left with a tiny amount after we've done the second trail load. So it's going to be three trail loads, and that third one is going to be maybe 5% full. It is about time we got a bigger trailer. Especially as the place we're going to is the other side of the map completely the other side of the map. We've been there many times before, but never from this distance. So, yeah, yes, it's about time we got a bigger one. Uh, maybe when we've unloaded this, we should get a bigger one. I don't know if we can afford one, though. We'll have to see. Well, here we are, after quite a drive. It's going to tell us exactly how much we've delivered. There will always be a bonus, though. So if this is... 58% then it probably will fit but I'm expecting to maybe be about 45% the 
goes the last piece. Yeah. So that was uh, 45%. Quite a guess, actually. It's going to be three loads. That will have given us enough space to be able to finish the field, but not enough space to be able to get it on the trailer, to get the combine empty. So I think I'm going to continue with the time lapse and get this done. And then we're going to get that second load delivered. It's going to bring it to approximately 90%. Depends if they've rounded it to exactly 90% there. 45%. Um, and then, yeah, come back for that last little piece. We can't really get a new trailer today. We don't have the money. And to be honest, I'd prefer to go through Mod Hub and find a more suitable one for us. Because it has to be vintage. But finishing the field won't be a problem. We'll get this done straight away. And we're finally back for the last 34% of the combine. Was it 35? One of the two. I guess there'll be 5% in the trailer. It's a bit more. So at least it's not a totally wasted journey. 27%. Right, now to set off on my long voyage again. Uh, yeah, it would just need a bigger trailer. Even the tractor is not too much of a problem. Let's push ahead in front of everybody again. I think it is just the same traffic going around in a loop. So that's why there's loads of traffic together. Also, we could return the combine. And the mower. Don't think we need that anytime soon. So there's nothing rented, so when we, re when we rest there's going to be no more daily fees. Next time, we're going to be hopefully getting a new crop into our field. And if we can do, get some sheep. It would be a good time to get some. We're already almost at four hours on this tractor. Hardly surprising though with the woods driving. Okay. And this time we make some money. I don't know if it was worth the money. Less than a thousand pounds. I suppose it's more with this uh, extra grain. Or extra beans. There's our bit. £375 bonus. And to collect from that, 823 So we now have £13,500 roughly. Could be better, I think. But it was the driving. It did take a lot of time. Anyway, this is a great place to finish. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.